What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, last review before the Christmas holiday, and I head up north to see my family, and hopefully you all get to do the same. As I said yesterday, one last pale ale from here in South Carolina, from Westbrook Brewing Company in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, down near Charleston. This is their IPA. Quite simple. Notes on the can. A base of pale Munich and Carapils malts is just enough to contain the massive hop flavor and aroma packed into this delicious IPA. A blend of American hop varieties is added four times in the kettle and again in the fermenter for a complex and layered hop experience. And let's check. 6.8% ABV, 60 IBU. Let's check it out. Uh, decent finger to finger and a half worth of head. Uh, when I initially poured it, it was around a finger, but lots of carbonation I can see in the glass, and it's generated and maintaining about that finger and a half worth of head, at least for uh, the time being. Uh, yellow gold color, kind of more pushing towards uh, wheat highlights as I hold up to the light. Uh, quite hazy. I can kind of see my fingers through the other side, uh, but generally not a whole lot is making its way through. You know, there's a little bit of a logo on here, you can see that, and I can't really see that at all. There's maybe a little bit of a dark blur, but otherwise can't really uh, make anything out in terms of uh, in terms of the other side of the glass. So quite quite hazy, as I said, and despite that haze, I can still see a good amount of carbonation. Uh, maintaining that head pretty well, still about a finger's worth, and nice, uh, tightly packed bubbles, pillowy bubbles. So nice, generally fluffy head. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. Massive, massive hop notes, and a lot of citrus. Uh, nice candy note, a little bit of pine. Something, uh, there's the bitterness, of course, the hot bitterness, but there's something kind of, I don't think sour is quite the right word. I haven't quite placed it yet. I was initially going to say dankness as well, and I think there is a little bit of a, a dank note, maybe a, maybe a bit of a peppery note. Uh, very much hop forward though. Uh, very, very hop forward. Uh, the citrus, the orange, and the pine hit you right away. And then bitterness, <coughs> excuse me, the bitterness is more towards the end with that dank note and the, the bitterness really kind of carries through. Um, in the aftertaste, I'm getting a fair amount of bitterness uh, in my mouth and throat now, even though it's been a, a moment since I've had a sip. Decent amount of body. I call it medium. And it's pretty smooth in the, the mouthfeel. You know, pretty pretty easy going down, uh, despite the maybe that, that bitterness is just a bit of a hang up. And in terms of the kind of the, the mouthfeel of the beer itself, it, it would be uh, I classify it as relatively easy drinking. Yeah, the sweet note's starting to go away. I guess my palate's starting to acclimate. Um, but kind of a, a still a little bit of that, that, that kind of candy note. Uh, again, that also kind of lives in the back half with the, the dankness um, and the bitterness. I think I'm getting a little, maybe a little bit of a, a flower or some kind of aromatic note in there as well. Um, more towards the front half. But um, great IPA, Re just really, really great IPA. Um, very few things from Westbrook that, <coughs> excuse me, very few things from Westbrook that I not enjoyed. Um, I think their 
The, their Goza is top notch. This is really, really excellent. Um, their Mexican Cake Special release is one of my all time favorites. So, and uh, just overall, just really great things coming out of Westbrook. And this IPA is no different. So, that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, which I believe uh, also starts on Christmas Day, if I read my calendar right. But uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. I expect I'll be back doing videos next weekend, which would be New Year's weekend or somewhere around there, maybe a little bit earlier. I'm uh, away for several days choosing the family, as I said. I expect I'll be able to do some writing, so you can check out some beers in review, and maybe I'll put together a, a news roundup. But um, I don't expect to be doing any any videos. But while I'm up there, I'll certainly be trying to check out as much of the uh, the local scene as I can, as I did last year uh, when I checked out Black Cap and uh, did a number of the breweries in the, the York County, Pennsylvania area. I don't think I'll be doing anything as comprehensive this year, but I'm definitely going to be looking to try as much stuff as I can while I'm up there and maybe even bring some stuff home to review uh, after the fact. So that's it. Once again, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, and I will see you in a, about a week. And uh, so that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. All those links and the usernames will be in the description below. Also check out all of, uh, all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Happy holidays, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.